here we are at <laughs> I'm not I'm gonna butcher this name Chiracachua National Monument more than 27 million years ago an immense volcanic eruption laid down 2,000 feet of highly shellaceous ash and pumice this mixture fused into rock called rhyolitic tuff and eventually eroded into the spears and unusual rock formations found here today. And hopefully it's really nice. This was a two and a half hour drive from the Tucson KOA. It's only 84 miles. However, once you get off the freeway, the road does become a little twisty. So we'll go check out this national park. Definitely worth the stop coming to this national park that I cannot pronounce. It begins with a C, very long name, to see all these hoodoos. And the drive up here to this particular spot, this is where the road ends. You turn around, it's absolutely gorgeous. There were even more beautiful and majestic hoodoos driving up here. So, worth the drive from Tucson. This park does not have RV parking. So keep that in mind. Do not bring your RV up here. There's a 20, 20, 21, 22 feet limit on the road coming up here with your RV. And even then, I, there, is a, there is a campground here, but I don't know what the facilities are like. Again, do not take your RV up here. There is no RV parking. The two viewpoints that I went to the parking lot was already filled up. I got there a little bit early. It's about 10.30 right now for the first one and I was able to find parking. The second one, I did have to play the handicap placard so that I could use the restroom, but I was there for only maybe four minutes. So there was someone already waiting for the handicap parking. We are on a dirt road going towards Fort Bowie National Historic Site. For more than 30 years, Fort Bowie and Apache Pass, which is this dirt road, were the focal point of military operations that eventually culminated in the surrender of Geronimo in 1886 and the basement of the Chicaracura Apaches of Florida and Alabama. The, prior, the park provides insight into the clash of cultures. So this is the Apache Pass. And it is eight miles to Fort Bowie on a dirt road. <laughs> okay, now Walter grew up on a dirt road. So the faster you go on this dirt road, the less bumpy it will actually be. made it there's still four miles left to go but this is the national park end right it's a one and a half mile trek and it's somewhere in that canyon over there so I didn't come all this way to give up now we're gonna take this nice and slow it's about 87 degrees again we're gonna take it nice and slow Got bottled Gatorade and hopefully there'll be fluids on the way back that I can buy at the, at the fort. These are the ruins to a stagecoach house.
one of their pit stops. Wow. Okay, I've gone three quarters of a mile. I'm already exhausted. That is a cemetery over there. The Ford is past that cemetery. We're going to do this. This is what their homes look like. Thatched roofing. Still have about a quarter of a mile to go. I would not recommend this trail or this national park to anyone with mobility issues. He said there was a handicap parking. I could not find the sign for the turn off. But again, I didn't come this far to get up on this park. So I'm doing this. It's going to be a three mile hike in the end, one and a half miles to get there, one and a half miles back. It goes over two valleys, so it's up and down, and the fort is up this pass, where those weed trees are. Oh. And the parking area is over that ridge over there, down a valley, and then up again. So, I'm going to keep going. Right now this makes absolute sense why there's a fort out here it is because there's a spring right here where they can get water from. So in the middle of this desert there's water. <laughs> and that is why they located the fort this way. So apparently it's not too far up but it's a climb to the fort itself. Fort Bowie. <sighs> gonna rest here a bit. It's a little bit cool here too. Oh dear lord. Okay. Almost there. It'll be easier coming back. It's all downhill. And then down another valley and up again. So there's a whole bunch of 70 and 80 year olds right over there that are gonna do a different trail back to the parking lot which apparently is a 200 feet or 300 feet, I don't know, two 300 feet uphill, downhill and uphill. Trail. <laughs> I did not find it that easy. Cemetery is about the halfway point. <sighs> Cars over there and the fort is up there. Headed back to Tucson now. I am absolutely exhausted. I did read the sign. It said two and a half leisurely. It did take me two and a half. Mine was closer to three and a half hours. Uh, I am parched. I've got a lot of drinking lots of fluids. However, this has been for as exhausting and frustrating as this was to see this national park. And no, I do not. There's no RV parking at that dirt parking lot. 
and I would not recommend your rig going down this dirt road. It's really bumpy. And the plus side in all of this is that I got to put the truck in four wheel drive. So that part has been really fun to go four wheel driving in this dirt road. It's got a lot of ruts. So you're, the truck is shaking. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this visit to two national parks. We are headed back to the KOA in Tucson, which is a two hour drive, even though it's only about 87 miles. It's a lot of winding roads and dirt roads. Okay. I'm sure you you don't want me to say dirt road again, but I'm not used to it. Now, my, my blue car is brown. It's absolutely brown outside. But I'm having fun doing the four-wheel drive thing. Okay, thank you again for watching. Bye.